you're getting ready to sell your home. But up until now, it's just been a thought in your mind. And now all the questions start coming and you're just wondering, where do I start? Well, hi there. I'm Melissa Shaw of Lewis Realtors and I've assisted sellers in getting the home sold for over 21 years now. And there's definitely been a common thread of frequently asked questions I hear from sellers. So today is the first part of a three-part series on discussing sellers' most frequently asked questions. So the number one question that I typically get is, what do I do to prepare my home for sale? And that's going to be a really difficult question to answer over the phone. So my recommendation is to call your real estate professional and get them over to take a look at your home and give you a home enhancements list. And then on that homes enhancements list, they're going to be taking into account and learning more about what your needs are, what your abilities are, what your budgets are, the better condition of your home, and be able to advise you their suggestions on what might be best on how to prepare your home. The second most frequently asked question that I get is, what is my home worth? And a home evaluation can be done sight unseen, but it can only be a preliminary one, right? So again, contact your real estate professional, get your preliminary comparative market evaluation on your home, provide as many details as possible if it's over the phone or through email. And then my suggestion is always going to be have your professional come and do an on-site look as well. To give you their professional opinion, you can take into consideration the location, amenities, and you can just get a much better feel if you're having your real estate professional come in person and take a look at your home. And then they'll be able to give you a more professional final opinion on price for you, on what you could list your home for. Another question that I typically get is, what should I do to prepare for showings? What are the best things to do? Well, here's a few tips for you. I would create visuals, if you have TVs in your home, of soft, relaxing, calming music and nice visuals throughout the home. Staging, obviously, would be spoken about prior to this stage or not to stage, but we want to create an ambiance for people that are walking through. We want to keep your home in a clean environment like it was for the photos. When you have photos done, things show their best. And that's kind of what you want to emulate in showings. You want to create that same type of atmosphere in your home. You also want to make sure that your lights are on, your blinds are open, and you're letting in as much light as possible. Another frequently asked question I get is, how long should I be gone for showings? You know, this is kind of dependent on your property, the size of it, the size of your home, and also whether you have acreage or bigger property or not in outbuildings. But typically, you're going to be looking somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes to where you could be expected to be gone for any showing appointments for prospective buyers to walk through your home and really get a good feel for your home and what it offers. And the fifth question for this series is... Is the seller's agent, is my seller's agent going to be there when these buyers are walking through my home? As a general rule of thumb, typically not. And the reason for this is because buyers really want to feel not rushed. They really want to be at ease and feel like they have their time and they're comfortable in asking questions to their agent about your property. It is the seller's agent's job, however, to make sure that they have all information about your home readily available to that buyer's agent and those buyers as they're walking through the home and pre-appointment to walk through your home and tour as well. So there is a responsibility for sure to make sure that you're readily available as a seller's agent like myself to make sure that information, there's ability to get questions answered as they're walking through your home. So if you enjoyed and found this information informative, please tune in next week for more five points of sellers frequently asked questions. And if you're looking to make a move and you just have questions, feel free to click the link below and book a call with me and we'll have a chat.